Okay, hello everyone. This is a quick video just to show you how we're going to use SharePoint for our team projects this semester. So go to office.com and log in using your Maynooth University account. That'll bring you to this home page and you can see you have your email, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other things. We're going to be using SharePoint. Okay, um, click on SharePoint and then go in and create new site. We're going to be doing a team site and call it whatever you want, team project critical skills, something like that. Don't worry about the group email address or the site description and the privacy settings you do want to change. So the default is public, uh, but you actually want to change it to private. Only members can access the site. Then click next. and. You want to add everybody from your team as an owner, okay? And the way this works is you just start typing somebody's name and it will find them in the Maynooth University directory. So say you want to add um, your instructor, which you need to do, um, let's say it's Susan, um, and then you type until you see the person's name and click on it. So add your instructor and everybody else uh, that's in your group then click finish and that will bring you to the home site for this the SharePoint site and you have a navigation panel on the left here documents notebooks and this is the sort of it, the appearance of a website and uh, you can kind of customize that if you want um, we'll start by looking at documents so you go over to the left and click on documents and this is where you want to do most of the work so click on new click folder and type peer feedback that'll create a folder you can create another folder right call it minutes meetings create or you can actually just create a Word document. And the default will be Word Online, which is fine. If you want to create a document in Desktop Word and upload it, you can do that. And then you can either edit it in Word Online or put it on the SharePoint. And as long as your OneDrive is linked to your Desktop Word, edit it that way. Um, The Word Online is actually fine um, for for our purposes, um, but it, it it will take the desktop Word documents just as easily. Okay, um, so then you can go back to your SharePoint site, and you'll see activity. So this is what I've done in the, the past few seconds. Um, you can get at the documents and folders in here, or you can get at them here. Um, here's your group members. And uh, what I will say is that when the semester is over to uh, leave the group, you just click on a group membership and click on yourself and just remove yourself from the group. The last person who leaves the group uh, needs to delete the group but uh, I'm actually not going to go into that right now because if you, once you delete the group, all of the documents that have been uploaded are deleted as well. So we can talk about that later. Um, there's one other thing that I'd like to show you. I doubt that it's ready yet, um, but there's a calendar functionality um, which could be very convenient for managing the different uh, due dates and milestones for the team projects. So you click on the, the title up here and click on calendar. And then you can add calendar items, due dates, and everybody in the group then will have that added to their calendar. Um, and it has set it up here, okay, so that's fine. So if we wanted to say we want to go to March and we want to add an item.
then you can see uh, that's the way that that works. And clicking on follow in your inbox, that means that when calendar items are, are added, you'll get a, a notification in your in your inbox. Um, if you, but you don't have to necessarily get a notification. You could always add items and then just come back in to the team site and look at the calendar uh, calendar that way. So that's a the very short uh, summary of using SharePoint and we'll be using it this semester for our team projects.